Welcome to another Friday Functions video. In this video, we're going to use the users function to find out what the display name of the user is. And then we're going to use it in a condition to show a field depending on if that user is the monitor of this list. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and edit one of these forms. So I'm just going to hit edit and you'll see that this is a change order form and basically it has change orders that are being collected for different contractors. Now this approved field, we don't want it exposed to our users for status. We only want one person to handle status. And who we're going to have do that is Ryan Cunningham. Okay. So I'm going to show you how we can hide this field and only Ryan will be able to see it. So I'm going to scroll up to the top and I'm going to hit customize. When I do that, it's going to bring me into the Power Apps canvas where I can further customize this form. As you can imagine, everything that we're going to do is going to be specifically on the status um, card. So we're just waiting for Power Apps to do its magic. It's creating the customized form environment with all the controls and all the functionality that's associated with the schema on SharePoint. So we really do appreciate how Power Apps gets things ready for us so that we can customize faster. We'll just give it a minute. If you notice little ants running across the top of the screen, those little dots of ants running across the screen is what's happening when it's connecting to the data. Okay. So now you can see that I have my custom form here and basically I only want this to actually be available to Ryan. Now I can do two things. I can mark it as invisible to everybody else, but then they won't know the status. So instead, I'm actually going to do this if statement in the display mode of this control, all right? So that um, it's, it's actually going to only be editable by Ryan. So I'm going to select approved, and then I'm going to go down to the display mode uh, function, um, sorry, property, and I'm going to unlock the control. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just simply put an if statement in here. So the function today is all about if and user. So if user, so actually just go look at the user and then give me back their full name, right? If the user equals Ryan Cunningham, then the display mode is edit. Otherwise, the display mode is view. So anybody who's not Ryan will only see the status. You notice it's not editable. If I click, nothing happens, whereas all these other things are editable. Now, I'm going to prove to you that this works. Since I'm not Ryan, I'm going to make this name Audrey so that we can check and see if it works. So all I'm going to do is instead of Ryan, I'm going to put my display name. Remember to use the display name as per your Active Directory, basically what you see in your emails. And then we run it in that case, you can see that now because I'm Audrey, I can go ahead and um, select the status. Um, isn't it great to be Audrey? So um, that's how easy it is to use a conditional format with the user function in order to uh, show or display a field in a certain way. I just want to point out, I'm just going to go back here and hit the dot. With user, there are quite a few properties you get. You get the email, the full name, and the image. Don't hesitate to use Office 365 users if you want other things. For instance, I could come in here, let's, um, I want to take a minute and just show you that I can find out what my department is 
So I'm going to just move this form down a little bit just to get my department. So I'm going to insert a label. And then I'm going to also add the Office 365 users connection. We'll just take a minute to add this point because sometimes you want more than the name. You can take the Office 365 users connection and add that. Now in this in this label here, I can change this to be my department. So Office 365 users my profile, which is the profile of the person looking at the screen. And then I want to return back the department. Actually, I'm going to, yep. And there it goes. So now this is my department, Power Apps Cogs. Now, in the same way that I used the um, user here for the display value, I'm going to go to the display value. I'm sorry, oh, that's the wrong field. I'm going to go to the display value of status. And instead of user equals Audrey, I'm going to change this to Office 365 users, my profile. And then I'm going to choose um, department. And I actually might do this a little bit different. I just might do COGS, C-O-G-S, in. So what I'm saying is if COGS is in the department, then the display road is edit. So why would this be a good function to use? Let's say you want to give all of HR the ability to approve this. If HR is in the department property of their profile, then you'll be able to do that, right? I'm going to change this to HR, and you'll see that I won't be able to do it because HR is not in my department, in my profile properties, and so approved will not be editable for me. You can see that there. Very useful um, to, add, to add, leverage your, your um, profile properties. Um, I'll put in the description um, the links that will help you use users and Office 365 um, users in your conditions to decide. You can also do this as on the view property, right? You could um, easily copy this whole thing, put this in the uh, visible property for the card. So I can take this whole card and hide the entire card if I want to just by putting that in the visible property. Again, the visible property is a true false property. So instead of display mode as my if thens, I will use um, true and false. It'll come up with the same result, right? So um, if I'm in HR, it'll be visible. If I'm not, it won't. So that kind of thing you can use whenever you'd like to actually set conditions um, in your formulas. So thank you for coming for to this. Um, Friday Functions video, and I look forward to doing other Friday Functions videos with you soon. Have an awesome weekend. I look forward to seeing you again.